interesting to see in this batch. So, so all yes, I repeat, uh, well done getting through the, the to the term, and I won't actually. Oh, I will. Uh, well, I'll, that's a little bit predated because, of course, the most important bet is delta. But we don't have a technical review. <laughs> but, uh, and, and in fact, I suggested that anything we give you today should be marked, multiplied by whatever uh, mark you get in the technical review. So if you get zero for the technical review, you get zero. Oh, after all. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Uh, uh, but seriously, so well, uh, interesting thing to look at. Uh, there's sort of there's, there's three t uh, ways people have dealt with data out there and all that. Uh, there's uh, this new thing is sort of in a way fairly conventional data, where is where you're assuming that you're going to have a data feed and actually a motivation for somebody to produce a data feed, which is quite good. Well, the things which are out there before uh, have been systems which have been sort of AI based. The data has been crummy, it's been scraped, but there's, so it's been an AI challenge to actually try and understand the natural language or figure out where in the page the data is or to clean up the data which has come from something. So there's been a whole bunch of companies out there which are AI-based, and then a bunch of companies which are social-based and crowdsource things and use people to meticulously, either meticulously produce data or crowdsourced just by their sheer numbers to overwhelm the, the, the terribleness of the data and end up producing good, good data. And, it's a, and, and now, sort of, you really nice to look at the options of, from actually Using data where for some where there's the data doesn't seem to be reasonable, and so in general, where you do where you're doing that, clearly you've got to either find use um, uh, either be aware of techniques you're going to use to get it reasonable, or find the motivations in the business model to uh, by which people are going to be motivated to make the data clean. Some some people will more care about that than others, and some of us left when we had the discussion. Uh, we weren't quite. We still weren't quite clear. Uh, and some of us could I think of, but we could think of businesses like in the area where you just proposed. We wasn't sure it was one way you were thinking of. Um, so going through them. Uh, so Telaria seems what's nice about it. it no, the, I suppose the lure is you're making this site and it's all made. You're making so DVP do in order to get. Lots and lots of free data. So you'll have so because you'll be based on it, on open data, you'll be better than all the other sites which are trying to do things. So that's uh, will the data be good enough? It was interesting. Notion you uh, you found actually that the, 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 the data the data. <coughs> yeah, okay, we're over here. Uh, no, you, you found that, that the, I was in a way disappointed with uh, that DVP. It didn't provide you with a decent picture of those right. things. Um, so maybe like, maybe. In future, it will. Uh, so the fact that you have to clean it up is uh, kind of a shame. But um, so Talara, you're going to be competing with people who are doing the AI approach to, uh, to to figuring out what people want by looking for, uh, uh, by clustering them with, with other people without using any uh, human uh, curation. And the people who are doing the social things. Well, I guess you'll be you'll be doing the, the social things. So, so the, Question how much data, how much value can you get from uh, some of the data? Good origins. Um, there, that is interesting. I'd actually talked to one large, uh, one large company about who were expressing very much the need for good origins. They uh, they wanted to be able to uh, borrow down into their supply chain to find out where there were uh, good uh, practices. Uh, where, where, where things were green, where uh, uh, and so on, but um, it wasn't obvious if you figured out whether you know who's going to pay for the data, who's going to provide the data, whether it's going to be public or not. So and whether it's going to be public or not, uh, for example, who provides it? <coughs> just a huge part of, uh, of the uh, structure. No, the of the, of the, of the questions. It wasn't obvious what really business model there was. But on the other hand, good origins. I, I think the, the case. You made that that is becoming more and more important to people. Where are you? Good stories uh, that, uh, that it's uh, uh, that nowadays this is uh, just very much people wanting to uh, I think it's, it's, uh, people wanting to know where things come from is very much it's very, it's very common becoming much more important and uh, people are coming and uh, so there's a lot more accountability in that area. So you're in a, in a hot area. Just quite anxious to see how that. Uh, 
was going to uh, full belly. Uh, the other data capture, uh, I agree with the previous judge who uh, raised questions about how you're going to get people to capture it. Um, uh, smash up this battle of the rights. That's you were, um, where was, uh, you got yeah. Uh, that, yeah, we talked about that a lot uh, earlier about the, the, the battle of the reader and the writer and whether uh, whether in fact you'll be able to do it as a if you do it as a kind of side uh, plug in, will people plug it in? Uh, and nobody's had, uh, hardly anybody has ever managed to get a kind of side plug in plug in, plug in, in practice by, by real clients. Uh, so then if you do it as a server side plug in, maybe you can make it very easy for a server to provide the equivalent uh, the equivalent thing to, to to provide a, a single line that can put in a, a code, uh, which the server could do if they want to opt in, then they opt in a very well, in a way, in a well defined way under their control. Maybe that would uh, get over the, the, uh, this sort of battle. Uh, I was trying to talk about pace. I thought, yes, the granularity is interesting. There is something that appealed to me. Where are you guys? The, it seems to me that the correlation between people and dishes is going to be that much more strong, very strong compared to me. I correlate with dishes much more than I correlate with restaurants, and I remember dishes more than that. So I think that maybe that uh, um, just as Facebook did a good thing by getting the semantics between people and photographs, not that a photograph is being tagged with a person's name, which was low semantics, but that the somebody was in the photograph, and that they were there and there's about photographs and getting more of a number. This person had taken the photograph of this person, just I think it allowed Facebook to get uh, to zoom ahead in the stream of the photograph compared to, to, to Flickr, which was still doing tags. And so getting this granularity right, maybe that that's uh, you're really onto something uh, by, by dismantling the restaurant and going down on one more level. Ca ca uh, again, data capture, how do you get the menus? Uh, I noticed that I can take a photograph of a business card and it will be converted into a V card now. I wonder whether you could build something that would. Uh, take a photograph of a menu, and you would only see all the menu if you could do those weird fonts um, or something. And whether photographing, you could uh, make a trend from photographing the menu as well as photographing the, uh, uh, the dish itself. So uh, uh, that was exciting possibility that way. That's fine. Yes. No, but all basically, uh, really, oh, you know, every single one of them are really, very, you know, really interesting ideas.